that's why we are trying out this Corleone Kush given to us by Cottontail Exotics to see if Kush actually means it's good weed. And like I explained before, oh shit. So I don't know about you guys, but I grew up listening to a lot of rap music. And people like Ludacris and Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg would all rap about a weed called Kush. But they were never really more specific than that. They just said Kush, smoking on Kush, Kush in the air, all this type of stuff about Kush. So today, I'm going to be checking out a Kush strain to talk to you guys about what exactly is Kush. And right off the bat, first and foremost, I have to tell you guys, just because it's called Kush doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be good cannabis. Now, thanks to the team at Cottontail Exotics, I do have some nice Kush right here to check out, but just because I have some nice Kush doesn't mean the Kush that you have is going to be just as nice. Because Kush itself is a very vague term. It doesn't really mean much. Because there are so many different strains that are called Kush. There's OG Kush. There's Pink Kush. There's Purple Kush. There's Hindu Kush. And today the strain we're going to be trying out is Corleone Kush. So there are so many different kinds of Kush. Not only that, there are different genetics of the kind of Kush. There's different growers that use different medium that have different uh, um, um, conditions, different humidity, different watering, different, different nutrients. So just because someone says they're smoking on Kush, it really doesn't mean anything. I'm sorry to say it, Snoop Dogg. I'm sorry to say it, Wiz Khalifa. But you're being way too vague when you're saying you're smoking on Kush. So now that I have that kind of cemented and I was able to tell you guys my little spiel about Kush, let's check out some Kush together and see if it's any good. See if this batch of Corleone Kush is worth your time. So right here we have... Our nice little plastic container let's open it on up and I'll give you guys the first shot of what's in our jar shablom there we have it team that right there is going to be our Corleone Kush and like already I get that earthy spicy cushy terps but before we talk about that let's take out a nug and check it out together Boom, there's your close-up. So now, look at this nug. First of all, immaculate trim job, not one extra leaf anywhere. All I see is nuggetry, clearly trimmed by hand, which is a huge sign of good quality cannabis. It's a nice, compact, dense nug, still has tons of humidity, nice, fresh, sticky cannabis. It's like a mid dark green color, subtle orange hairs, just beautiful, beautiful nuggetry. Very excited to be checking out this Corleone Kush. I've never tried it before, but I've heard so many good things about this batch. I believe it's Cleaner Meds Flower, given to me by the team at Cottontails Exotic, like I said. And I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, at least on the looks. I am thoroughly impressed. So we like that it looks good. It's very nice that it looks good. But in the end, I'd way rather it smoke good than it look good. So that's what we're about to do right now is see how this Kush smokes. Because according to Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg and Ludacris, and all these weed wrappers, Kush is as good as it gets. But like we know, there are so many different kinds of Kushes, so many different ways of growing, so many different breeders. So we never know till we try it. So that's why we are trying out this Corleone Kush given to us by Cottontail Exotics to see if Kush actually means it's good weed. 
And like I explained before, oh shit. Oh, just strong, earthy, spicy. Wow. Like a... It smells like someone freshly polished a leather shoe and then just rubbed it in dirt. And then put like some Montreal steak spice. Oh, wow. That is such a complicated, so much going on. Sorry about the noise team. Somehow I forgot to bring out a paper, which is absolutely ridiculous of me. I mean, when I'm making a video, I'm definitely going to be smoking a doink somewhere in that video. So... My bad for not bringing out a paper. Definitely should have been a little more prepared on that. But like the smell on this Corleone Kush. I mean, an absolute pleasure. Beautiful patty as you guys see. Beautiful patty just falling in here. Nice sticky fresh cannabis. So, so far, I mean, this is some of the nicest Kush that I've ever tried. But like, again, just because it's called Kush doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be good smoke. They really, you can't make that connection. I know a lot of rappers, like I said, tried to make the connection of Kush meaning good weed. Often I hear people saying, oh, this weed's so good, man. This weed's the Kush. And like, it's just a meaningless statement. Like I said, there are so many different kinds of Kush, so many different ways of growing Kush that you can't really say Kush is good weed. But what I can say is this Corleone Kush given to me by Cottontail Exotics and grown by Cleaner Meds so far it looks like some beautiful Kush, beautiful cannabis. The look is gorgeous. The smell is gorgeous. It's still sticky fresh, exactly how I want, making it so easy to roll. So, geez, oh, there you go. At least I have my packer. Just missing the paper today. So not too, too bad. We had the weed, we had the grinder, we have the, the, the lighter right here. So let's take a quick dry hit. So much going on with this taste just tasting it and looking at the nug and hearing the name Kush I'm definitely thinking body buzz but let's check it out team some of the best Kush in Canada I don't know but it definitely looks good let's check it out Very nice. As you guys see, I'm getting thick, heavy, smoky puffs. Really, really like that right off the bat. Just the heavy cloud of smoke coming in. And when I blow out, super smooth. No scratchiness, no irritation. Now, the taste definitely isn't as strong as it was on the smell, but this resin ring, like, I'm only a few puffs in, and already you can see greasy resin ring going all the way around this bad boy. So you know we have some full-headed resinous trichomes, and I love seeing that. Oh. Now before, I said because of the look of the nug and the smell of the nug and the name Kush, 
I was generally thinking body buzz, relaxing, heavy, sedating, slow you down. And that's exactly what I'm getting. I don't know if you could tell on my face. I don't know if you could tell and maybe my speech pattern has changed a little bit. But this is definitely not daytime cannabis. Definitely not energetic, run around, get things done cannabis. At least for me, this stuff is some nighttime cannabis. Relaxing, heavy, and like that's generally the buzz I get from most cushes. I think Master Kush is the only one that generally I have a lot of cerebral going on. But usually with Kush strains, it's going to be body. And this bad boy is definitely more of a body buzz. Mm. Now I'm definitely getting some of the earthy, some of the spicy, but it's just not like crazy, oh my god, in your face, make you salivate type terps. They're definitely nice terps, but I just want it turned up. I want it turned up all the way to 10. And I'd say the terps on this, the enjoyment, I like the terps, the terps enjoyment is a 10 on 10 but the strength of the terps i'd say is more like a like an eight so definitely there i definitely notice them but i notice them and i like them so i want them cranked all the way up to 10 we want those terps to just punch you in the face and for me the buzz is going to be the really noticeable stand out punch you in the face part of this Corleone Kush. Oh yeah. So maybe that's what the rappers are talking about when they say Kush strains. Maybe they're just talking about the buzz. Maybe they're just talking about that kind of sedating, relaxing, slow you down. Maybe that's more kind of what they're looking for, what they're excited about, because Unfortunately, just because something is called Kush, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be good cannabis. But in this case, I did get lucky, and the Corleone Kush grown by Cleaner Meds and given to me by the team at Cottontail Exotics. Just some beautiful, heavy, relaxing cannabis. Absolute pleasure. And although... A lot of Kushes do have a similar base of Terps. This Corleone Kush has a, something a little bit different that I haven't quite tasted in a Kush. I, I haven't tasted in a pink Kush, haven't tasted it in a purple Kush. The closest thing I'd be able to resemble it to would maybe be a Hindu Kush. But still, it's just different. It just has something a little different. And with the little difference in the Terps... The beautiful looking, compact, sticky, fresh nug, great trim job, the strong, uh, spicy, earthy, beautiful, beautiful smell. And that strong, heavy, body centric, there's almost nothing going on in my head. This is pretty much all body, considering all that. I haven't done a rating on a strain in a while, but this is a pretty like indica body focused strain. Clean smoke, heavy smoke. I think I'm going to go eight and a half on 10 on this bad boy. I do want the terps to be a little bit stronger. Maybe it could be a little bit smoother. I'm not up. There's no scratchiness. There's no irritation, but like there's a little tingle. There's a little little tingle right at the top here but like barely noticeable i'm really nitpicking and that's kind of what you have to do with good cannabis once you get to a certain level you kind of have to start nitpicking about the small things and it's nice to be able to do that it's nice to have flour that checks off everything on your list so much so that you have to start being an asshole and really picking at the small things and that's what happened with this Corleone Kush. So, 
just because you're smoking a Kush doesn't necessarily it's gonna be doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be good cannabis. Just because you 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 you're growing a Kush doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the same stuff that the rappers smoke. But thankfully, thanks to the team at Cotton Tails, this Kush right here, this Corleone Kush, definitely cause smokes like some rapper weed. Beautiful stuff, heavy sedating. I mean, there's nothing else to say. Not all Kush is good, but thankfully, this one I have right here definitely is. So again, huge shout out to Cottontail Exotics, huge shout out to Cleaner Meds, and as always, huge shout out to my Patreons and all of you guys supporting, because thanks to you guys, I get to do what I'm doing right here, and I absolutely love what I'm doing right here. So, I mean... Let's take a last puff and say goodbye. Huge shout out to this Corleone Kush. Huge shout out to everybody. I'm high right now, guys. I really I kind of messed up that, that exit. I kind of rambled on a little bit, but it is what it is. This is good cannabis. That's all there is to say, team. Cheers. <laughs>